What's up guys, I'm back with another movie review. Today I'm here to talk about one from Monarch Home Entertainment, and it is Expatriate. So this one stars Valene Kane as a former CIA operative who got burned whenever she thought she was doing the right thing and kind of shed some light on some corruption that was happening within government agencies. This not only cost her her job um, and her life, but she was exiled, banished, and she was hunted down. Uh, but she managed to uh, kind of keep a low profile down in South America Later on, she's approached by her former partner, who's also her former beau, shall we say, to uh, be more polite about it. And uh, he kind of offers her the chance to say, like, hey, we've made some leeway against the, the corrupt forces within these agencies, and we finally have a foothold, and we can use that. If you can help us here to take down this money laundering operation, then, you know, you can clear your name, have a chance to get your life back. And that's, that's the basic narrative here. The issue is, you know, after being burned once, can she really trust any of these people or is this more just corruption or finally, you know, her, you know, the final toll being taken on her for what she did before. Um, this one is from, uh, was released by Monarch Home Entertainment, but it was produced by Mar Vista. And if you're a frequent viewer of this channel, then you know that I love Mar Vista because they produce a lot of the Lifetime uh, original movies, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, this kind of feels like a uh, made for TV movie but it has a little bit better production values than you might expect. Um, it's kind of like a political slash spy thriller. Um, Valene Kane is great in it. She's definitely the best thing about the movie. She brings a lot of charisma and charm to the role. She handles the, the like light action that's required. She handles the drama, the humor, the romance. I just think she was a, a huge get for this movie, and it's, she's going to be the main draw as to why people would want to see this. Um, the rest of the cast is okay, too, but like she's head and shoulders, in my opinion, above everybody else. Um, as far as action in this movie, there's some chases, there's some gun battles, but it's all kind of uh, what would be TV safe. There's not much blood, there's not much uh, like direct violence, and uh, there are a couple sex scenes, but they're very tasteful and they don't have any uh, nudity in them. Um, I really like this one. I, I wasn't sure how I would feel about it. I'm gonna. This sounds like an insult, but I really don't feel like it is. This is just kind of a basic watchable thriller, and I know to some people they'll say that's a negative review, but to me it's not because it's not boring it's not slow it holds your attention it's definitely interesting to watch but it's not something that i'll probably watch again or something that i would recommend with flying colors but like if you're in the mood for a, a uh, an interesting thriller i definitely expatriate would fill that gap pretty well um again it's from mar vista everything production value wise is rock solid in this um i just thought it was it was just a good movie like again not one that i would you know sing the praises of from you know the mountaintops or anything but it's just a fun watch like i definitely glad that i took the time to check it out uh, the dvd from monarch home entertainment doesn't have any extras but it's got a widescreen transfer and it looks really good um, it's a newer movie and that shows here but it is dvd so it doesn't look like you know sparkling 4k quality or whatever but it looks very good for a dvd transfer um it the DVD is actually not available as of the time of this review, but it's it should be by the time uh, most people see it. So you can definitely get the DVD anywhere like Amazon or wherever you would think. And I think it's also on digital on demand, I think. Um, anyway, that's my review of Expatriate. Again, it's a solid, watchable thriller. Uh, definitely hugely benefits from Valene Kane. She's a really good here and adds a lot to the movie. And I think she's ultimately going to be the reason most people check it out. So if you want to read more about Expatriate, you can check out my website, markfusion.com. Read my full review, as well as over a thousand other movie reviews. Um, I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. Um, I'm also on Patreon. If you want to get exclusive content for $5 a month, you can unlock uh, exclusive videos that aren't posted uh, to this channel. And you can also go to Letterboxd if you want to see what I've got coming up soon, because I post it there before I actually get the videos made and put up here. But the best thing you can do, as always, is just to hit that sub button. Free, easy, direct way to support me and help me to continue to make content. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. That's Expatriate from Monarch and the glorious people at Mar Vista. Thanks, guys. Hopefully I'll see you soon.